Alrighty, watch fans. We're back for yet again another episode of Rob Reports. Today we are going to be looking at a micro brand that became the talk of Kickstarter and a variety of other watch forums earlier this year and uh, has made quite a splash with a somewhat pedestrian movement, uh, the Seiko Mecca Quartz in there, but they've uh, made up for the movement by other aspects of attention to detail and trying to make this watch as, as best as they possibly could within a, a budget. So without further ado, we have the Furlan Mari. This was introduced on Kickstarter earlier this year and we're gonna get in here and show you kind of an unboxing. It's gonna be somewhat of a short video, but um, this was lent in by a friend of the channel and you can see we've got born in geneva nice box this watch comes a rather small package and uh actually bangs all, you know has a lot of value for what it provides they've tried to really you know without showing too much of the numbers or anything like that they've really tried to appeal to the collectors, right? Providing you with all of these extra little bits, trying to get you all of these little things. Nice little papers. It's a, it's a nice little touch. Uh, you've got a little microfiber cloth. The box we will get to, or the uh, travel box we'll get to, you get two straps. This one came with a black leather, which is nice. And then this is very similar to what Houdinki will sell on their website for, you know, a couple hundred bucks. And it's actually pretty cool. It's a small compact little, sorry for the bump there on the camera, but it's a small little pa compact package and inside, so we've got the plastics there from the uh, the watch itself. Really nice. You can kind of see the finishing on that. Actually, what does it say here? Attractive wristwatches. Kind of a cool little package there so tuck that off to the side and here we have the get it in focus here here we have the Havana Salmon Mecca Quartz this color scheme is something that I have not seen before yeah I've seen Salmon dials. I've seen chocolate dials, but the combination is is actually quite striking in person. Really, really nice. The finishing on this case is one of the things that has really set it apart because you can see how they've got these stepped little transitions here. They've got the bezel polished. They've got the sides with a really nice finishing, a really nice brushing. The case back, look at that brushing, how it catches. And the polishing and then the brushing again. Actually, it looks like it might even be blasted finish. Yeah, right there. So you've got all sorts of finishing going on. On the pushers, look at the, look at the, the extra attention to detail they were able to do. Mind you, this was on Kickstarter for I think if memory serves me correctly when I was looking at them uh, online there it was it was about three hundred fifty dollars maybe just a hair under four hundred US but the amount of detailing on this non screw down crown just a push pull but this is the star of the show right that dial they've gone through and added if you look in between the four and the five, you've got its reference, which is a nice little 
Nice little touch there. Again, trying to appeal to the collectors. You've got the Seiko, like I mentioned, Mecha Quartz movement. So as a result, you have the, unfortunately, one of, I think, the most useless complications out there right now, and that is the 24-hour subdial. Doesn't make any sense to me, but for some people, you may like it. You have the 60-minute counter, and in the chronograph hand, so no running seconds. Kind of a nice feature to have when it comes to a quartz chronograph. If you can see, the polishing on the hands is actually quite nice. The polishing on the indices, the applied indices, extremely nice. Printing, again, on the dial, very crisp. Pardon the, uh, the lint, but you can see it is quite well finished for its price range. Now, here we go with very good response with that mechanical portion of the chronograph stacked on top of the quartz movement. So you get the satisfaction of looking at the tick, 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 and not the uh, school clock, you know, pronounced ticking of the seconds hand really good response and then if we bring it back out again boom instant snap back quite satisfying just like any other mechanical chronograph and Again, for $350, this is an extremely well-balanced offering. The lugs turn down quite well. I'll have to add in the measurements. This is just a quick video, but uh, it wears quite well. It's a 38 millimeter case. It does have a domed sapphire crystal, 20 mil lugs. You see the... Uh, serial number which is put in there which i thought's a nice touch again trying to not show too much of the the viewers or sorry the uh owner's information there but this came on a taupe strap to go in in conjunction with the black leather with the quick release makes it nice you also have drilled lugs in case you don't have the quick release on the back of your straps and you can see that that seconds hand is just ticking away, smooth as smooth could be, and instant snapback. Really, really fun offering. Not a lot of money. Just a great overall grab and go quartz watch that has a little bit of intrigue, has a dial that you're not gonna see every day, and uh, is only offered, this color scheme was only offered through Kickstarter. So unfortunately, for those of you that are watching this, unless you ordered or uh, are wanting to buy on eBay or whatever, you're not going to be able to get this colorway. There was some talk, I think, uh, on online from what I could see in my preliminary research. There was some talk of uh, Furlan Mari selling other colorways. They have a, an all gray, a white, they have other ones, but they were going to sell some other colorways on a, on their website now that they're not on Kickstarter anymore. But there was there were two variants for the launch that were exclusively for Kickstarter, and this was one of them. The other one was a gold-plated case, and just a fun offering. I'll go ahead and actually, without swapping these over since this isn't my watch, but you can kind of see the difference in the black versus the taupe. It really does kind of change the dynamic and accentuate that chocolate on the dial, I think, depending upon how you want to play it. So a fun watch, again, something that you could dress up, you could kind of dress down, but obviously it's not going to break the bank. Is this for everybody? No. There are some snobs out there that may not appreciate the 
quartz movement that's underneath the mechanical chronograph module, but that's okay. It's not for everybody. Just like, you know, how, say, who blows not for everybody. Not for me, at least. Don't, don't be afraid to get out there and experience these kind of watches. You know, if, if you think, if you have these preconceived ideas that, oh, it's a quartz, it's a piece of crap, you're going to be surprised when you see stuff like this, and you're going to miss out on some great watches because in my short time reviewing this, I have been thoroughly impressed for $350 what this actually has going for it. Fit and finish is amazing. Strap is decent. Signed clasp. Milled. It looks really good. Again, a lot going on. The presentation of the box is nice. It's got so much going on. Here's a mechanical watch that costs almost what this one does. And I would put this one on par with this one or sorry, not on par, but above this one, just because this has a mechanical movement in it doesn't mean it's better. It's fun. You know, this is a fun watch that I have just to mess around. I mean, who who doesn't want a full loom dial? But that, that's another watch for another video later. But this one is truly a nice watch. And for the price range, or for the price it is, I fully recommend it if you can pick one up. Please take this opportunity to like the video if you if you liked it if you didn't like it let me know in the comments section please i'm just getting started on this and uh I take criticism so please let me know how i can improve also if you're interested in my future offerings whether it's a a quartz whether it's a patek whatever in between let me know and now uh, we can su subscribe to the channel and as always keep wearing those watches everybody